Hey guys, my name is Samsonite, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now I got back here, because I did Big Stupid, uh, we're gonna go to the right and connect all that shit, and then we can go, like, start into the catacombs. Because after that, I do believe that's, like, the last thing that needs to be done. We're getting there. I didn't, uh, get to check the percentage. But at the beginning of the last episode, we were at, uh... 145, 47, something like that. I just topped off my hearts, dude. What a big winner, big win. Okay. So we can go forward or we can go up. One of the two, we'll go forward because it's. I don't want to say easier, but. I mean, that wasn't hard. At least I want to connect all of the interlocking pads so that way there's only one direction to move in. Oh, this is where I forgot to go. I didn't finish the Beelzebub area. I just swing in front of me in places like this. There, see, that's why. Ah! Ooh, a luck potion. This room's done. 400 bucks. And then we're about to be able to turn around and go the other way. Yep, we're good now. Ow. I had no idea he was there. That was a little alarming. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Alright, we're going to go up this time. Now that things are starting to interlock and connect, there's less paths to take. And when there's less paths to take, the overwhelming feeling of, oh my god, this castle's huge, goes away. So we're going to take this path all the way to where it goes, and then we only have the catacombs to go. Oh no! I just realized we have, we have I think, three bosses left besides Dracula and Shaft. But they're like an interlocking one boss. Because once you start one, the game... Unless you die or the game is over. <clears throat> so, we have the first catacombs boss. Actually, uh, we have two of the bosses we've met before, in one way or another. Uh, and the other one is Gallimoth, and he's like an absolutely, like, wicked bastard, dude. He's insane. Easily, uh... He's in my top two favorite bosses. I go between him and Dracula. Although I always want to give it to him, because he's, like, very unique, and he only shows up this one time in the Castlevania lore. He's just awesome. But at the same time, if you have the right stuff, he's extremely tedious and easy. And I'm actually about to get the right stuff right now. I didn't look to see what time I started, so that this one might run a little long. 
But uh, Dimitri was talking to me about it, and he was saying that a half hour is a good length for these, and I've been trying to avoid going to a half an hour, but if I do, I'm not going to be upset. I've gotten close to a half an hour before. I just don't know if you guys like long videos or not. I don't get a lot of feedback on that one. I know that a lot, generally 18 minutes is the perfect time. Okay, I connected that path. Hello, Go uh, Gooba. It's Scuba Gooba Dooba. I call her everything but her name. She's like that pet that everyone has, that you named it one thing, but you call it another. That's our Scuba. Okay, so now, all this shit's done, all that shit's done, we just need to go that way. Oh god, oh shit, see I told you, it's a lot of damage. I thought it was 150. Not 130. I'm not upset. At all. Alright. This video is gonna. S well, it's not gonna suck. It's actually gonna be very entertaining for you guys, but it is the. We're going into the rage inducing section of Symphony. And it is the inverted caverns. Inverted catac. Not the catacombs. That, I mean, it's, it's hard in there, but. The inverted, like, underground cavern area where you, the last time you fought that, uh, woman with all the snakes. I can't remember exactly what her name is off the top of my head. Uh, you get the crystal cloak and the fairy man. The caverns. I want, oh, that's a dodo bird. It's the only place in the game you can find one. She drops. What did she drop? say a heart refresh for some reason. Which, yeah, I needed my other heart refresh to do the secret that I forgot I needed and I definitely did not have. Is this room all done? Almost. Okay, now I'm actually starting to feel very good because once I finish um, this down path and this forward path here, there's only two doors I haven't gone in, and they both lead to the same place. I don't know why I went up there. And now this is open. And there's a wolf out as a bat! That barrel circulate right there will get you past Gallimoth. Which is, if you don't have it, the hardest boss in the game. Straight up. Owie! Oh dear, oh dear. I don't like this room very much. It's difficult. Fire Boomerang! Yay! Now, we're gonna have a lot of fun in the second to last video of this series, which will be the one going around getting all the weapons. That, we're going to use the duplicator, and we're just gonna go around and continuously kill every enemy until we have every item in the game. That's what I want. <clears throat> and we'll be able to use the use items, and we'll, like... We'll just use all this cool stuff. If there's anything you want to see done, let me know. Now is the time, because we're coming up in the last few videos of this run-through. Now, I'm never going to put a final in parentheses on this, because I might just want to do a speed run, or a completionist run, or... or I, I, I will always play this, even if it's like once a year or once every two years, I will be playing this forever on the channel from now on. So, okay, now that's done. Now there's just two directions to go, and they are both connected. I'm running out of magic. I ran out of magic. I'm gonna have to like... Health re health up? No health up. Uh, and, uh, man, you know, 
We might finish the game today. I don't know. Or get no, we will not finish the game today because I have to. This is the rage-inducing part, by the way. Right here. We'll go left first. This is where the boss is. I don't think the last video had a boss fight. Or no, it did. We fought the mummy. This one. This one's. Wait a minute. We should have gone left first. Or right first, rather. Because that's like not very. That's not a very long path to take. And uh, once it's done, we don't have to come all the way back over here. Bun, da, na, na. Bing, bong, bing. Oh, those bastards. Oh, thank god I can kill them in one hit. They are a nightmare. New drum bomb. Die. They j Oh! They drop... Um... They drop a thingy, and it's really good. The... the it's, it's very hard to pronounce. It starts with an N, and it, ends with, it has like a... It's like a necklace. And they drop it, and it's really good, and I kind of really want it. Might do some low-level farming for it here in a minute. You gotta wipe this, uh... This level here, because otherwise... Yeah, they're gonna bother you. See, now if you look at where I'm at... I don't know if you can see it, it's behind my head, but... You have to get every inch of this water. This is why it's rage-inducing, and tedious and stupid, and I hate it. So far, so good. So you just go like this and you just swim along the thing. This is the one use for the, they freaking keep opening the curtains. So far, so good. Bing, bing. Bong. I really like the music here. I just love the music in this game, dude. I have, like... I don't know if they were ever, like, acknowledged enough for it. Personally, I don't think you can acknowledge this game enough for its soundtrack. Okay, that's that. And then there's just one little other, like, Nubbin of space right there. Got it. Okay, now I book it this way. Whoosh! Damn it. Whoosh! Damn it. Whoosh! Alucard shield. Holy shit. Now let me show you something. The Alucard shield is an amazing weapon, and I know how that sounds. But just trust me on this one. If you equip the the shield rod... Okay, now I'm going to be doing all the shields once we get all the shields, but if you hit attack and, like, that one, and that one at the same time. It's X and B for me, or B square and circle on the original Hello Game, and Jesus Christ, cats! If you hit them at the same time, the shield rod will do something special with your shield. Unlocking its inner powers or whatever. Now, once I find an enemy, there's one. Wait. Now, if you hold it out... Kill, kill 253 damage. Heals me 254 damage. It takes magic every hit, though. I got something. Please tell me it was what I thought it was. It's not. It was a neutron bomb. No, I'm not going to be using that anymore. But that's what happens when you use the shield rod. Every shield has its own ability. And I will show you all the shields' abilities in uh, when, when we have all the shields, and I'll just stand there and do them all, and it'll be fun. That'll be in the second to last video, which is coming up alarmingly quick. 
Zoom. not that cooperative with me. It's usually uh, fighting me a bit. Now we do have one of every sellable jewel. I was, uh, when I, in the last episode, when I thought I needed to go into the other castle and I didn't, I checked. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I know, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. There we go. Alright, here's where it gets rough. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stop. Stop that. Okay, now there's going up to Galamoth. Which is fine and dandy. Oh, why can't I kill you in one shot? I used to be able to, I thought. And here we go with going up in the water again. I don't know why I tried to turn into a bat to get myself up there. We got, we got a potion. We got a potion. That's nice. That's nice. And, ooh, that's even nicer. And I got this whole thing. Okay. Ow! Place to be. We're gonna go back up into the water in like two seconds, don't even worry. Damn it! I just wanna kill everything. That's all. Okay. I did kill everything. We brought it to the point to where it's like kind of complete. The whole room's frame is done up. Now we're in the water with upside down fish. I love that they're upside down. No other enemy is upside down in the game because of the invert, the uh, castle inversion. They just are. I love this game so much. Killer fish. Oh damn it! That was supposed to be like a kick, kick. Yeah, if you double jump and then you hit down and jump again for a third jump, you do the drop kick. Drop kick, boys. Uh, Dimitri, if you are watching this, with your permission, can I officially induct Alucard into the Dropkick Boys Hall of Fame? There's a cat. I would like Alucard to be in the Dropkick Boys Hall of Fame. I just made up the Hall of Fame. Obviously, Kyle Crane and Ninja are in it. I know, are we technically both playing as Kyle Crane in Dying Light? I need someone out there to make a compilation of all the times that uh, me and Dimitri and anyone say mean things to George. Because I'm trying to stop doing that. But um, it's so funny. So if you could like make a compilation for me, so I could just watch it and and laugh, I will react to it personally. And I don't know. That's just that's something I've always wanted. A compilation of being a dick. Diamond. All right. Let's 
let's see. Oh yeah, I'll just go out here super quick and connect the paths and then... Oh, we're going up into the hardest part of this whole thing here in a second. Alright, it's all connected up. It's all connected up. So, <clears throat> we're about to go into the boss fight. <clears throat> Thumbs up. Alrighty. I have no idea how long this episode's been. It doesn't feel like it's been all that long yet. someone's recording, but on the other hand, she loves to do that! No. To attack the controller wire. No, scuba. <laughs> I keep hitting in front of the... She's biting it. Stop. Scuba, stop it, please. Stop it! She just don't know when to quit. Let's see what we got going on. I'm gonna fight this boss. Dropkick boys! Dropkick boys! Dropkick boys! Dropkick boys! Alright. Let's get up this whole thing. Whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go all the way up. Ah, it wouldn't let me go to the side. It wouldn't let me, like, position my... Now, right in that room to the left is the boss fight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save, and then we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go up first, and then we'll do the boss fight after that. <clears throat> we're doing good. We're doing good. There's a cat right there laying on my foot. Go. Whoosh. It's where the frozen shades were, I believe. Alright, here we go. You know what? I know I said I wouldn't. But I feel like this is one instance where it's okay. This one single room is all I'm asking. Oh, I forgot that was... Oh, yeah! I got a heart refresh! That means at the end of this video, I can actually do that secret. Dun, 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 dun. That's it! Nooglamir. Strength goes down a bit, but defense goes way up. Plus 15 to defense. 
Which is great, because luck mode, like, drops your defense to the ground. Okay, now I just need to... Go up into here. This part's awful. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie to you. This part is awful. So I'm just gonna cut it out until I'm done. Okay, so I got that room done. And if you notice, if you were to compare the maps, it, that is just a solid, like, rectangle, whereas the other one had, like, jagged bits. Oh yeah, now this. No. This. Has punch to it. It, like, hurts a little bit. It hurts the enemies. Uh... What was I saying? Oh yeah, this, right in here where I'm at. If you were to look at it on the other map, it's like jagged, where this one's just a big giant like block. That's where the, with, in, in order to get the game's best ending, you need 200.6%. And the extra bits from not being jagged and just being a rectangle in here, that's where the .6 comes from. I might use the Crystal Grimm against Gallimoth just because I have the thing that makes him easy. And he takes like five actual minutes to kill. Here, I'm gonna take this off. Save up, and we're gonna do ourselves a boss fight. Alright, now I did say that we have seen the other bosses before. So here's what I'm talking about. That was a lot of damage. That's like unfair amounts of damage. Stop with the curtain, please! How many pieces of dry food do we have left? Just one to get? We have one... And then... And I know what this... Okay, so we have one piece of Dracula left to get. I know exactly where to get it to. We're close to it, actually. We could probably do that. You know what? No, 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 no. We're gonna save that for next video. Right now, I'm gonna fill this in, and then I'm gonna go do that secret. This is gross. This is a gross room. Dark Elf Blade, or something. Yeah. Is that good? Whoa! Graham is better than Harper. And the Dark Blade is better than that. Whoopsie! Okay, I am going to library Wade. I equipped a hamburger. That's fun. I'm going to check the map, make sure there's nothing else in this area. See, the only area is like, if you just go straight to the right, there's a little nubbin going up. That is the only place we have not been. We're gonna get there soon. Next video though. Right now I'm gonna go do that secret, and then I'll call the episode. All right, we're here, and this thing is the secret. What you gotta do is, you have to equip a heart refresh in each hand, and throw the duplicator on. And then you go like this. I missed.
and then when you push one down, you have to push the other one down. And then you'll inch, and then you push the other one down. This is gonna take a minute. Oh, what? You gotta wiggle around in here just a bit. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. And there it goes. We can take off the heart refreshes. I didn't do that in editing. It really looks like that. An unfinished portion of the game. I want to say this was supposed to tie into the catacombs area. Oh yeah, and then the hatch is open. And there you go. Now I'm 99% sure that if you leave the room, come back in. Oh. I would love it if this stayed open forever because I worked very hard to get down here. I mean, look at that. That's something else. Alright, so, that is probably the most intricate secret I know of. I'd also like to get out there. I've always wanted to get out there. Alright, so, that's it for this episode, so be sure to check in for the next one. I will see you there!